All right. I'm about to nerd out for a little bit because I thought this was the coolest thing. So every week I go to Level Green Farms. It's like five minutes from my house. It's a small farm. They got like, they converted what was one of those like Home Depot, you can buy sheds and they converted it into a market. So I don't know if y'all can see it here. So I've, they're only open Fridays through Sunday, 10 to two. So I've made it a habit of on Fridays, just going and get my eggs because I rather buy from, you know, local farmers, support local community. And honestly, I don't like the all white, you know, Eglin's best with the little red stamped eggs. Um, they just don't taste the same for me. So I went there today. I also got two chickens. Yeah, they got a whole meat selection there. Great people. And I went to go get eggs. So I opened up their fridge and I saw the eggs, but then I saw something else. So we all know eggs come in your standard white. Like, you know, this is what a regular egg in the grocery store would look like. And then, you know, you got eggs that are a little bit darker, bigger. I really hope I don't drop these on the floor. Bigger. And then you got some every now and then a chicken wants to show off. And then you got this one. This is actually like a, a tint of blue. Kind of hard to see with the glare from the window. But I'm like, you know what? I'll grab some eggs. I'll open up the fridge, grab a case of eggs. Bang. And then I see this thing. So the tinted blue one is honestly a decent sized chicken egg. You know, it's pretty big. Bigger than what you're getting at the grocery store. And, and I've had duck eggs. Duck eggs are probably about two of these, maybe two and a half in size on the inside. But lately, apparently, their goose or geese have been laying eggs. So I bought it. And holy hell, this thing is huge. Like, this was the biggest egg from the chicken container. And it's a dwarf. Like the guy, I asked him, I said, you know, how many standard eggs would basically be this? I can hear it sloshing around. He's like, this is probably between four and six eggs. Like, this is what you're getting at the grocery store. Holy shit. So I was like, you know what? I have to get it. I have to try it. So it came in a pack of four, which is more than enough, because I'm pretty sure that pack of four is over a dozen chicken eggs anyway. And I just had to see what was going on, like what this was all about. Because, you know, my coach has me eating three to four eggs a day, you know, for breakfast. I just got this bowl out of the dishwasher. Like, literally, it's still hot. And I've never cracked this open. So I'm just going to do it. And this is going to be my scrambled eggs for breakfast. Holy hell, I thought I was going to break the bowl. This thing's got some resistance to it. Holy shit. <laughs> Crazy. Hold on, I'm trying not to make a mess. All right, so... Boom. Egg is cracked. I save that, dry it out, and throw it in the compost. And uh, my kitchen, my sourdough starter that I'm feed, I fed this morning, uh, they're like, oh, everybody has to name their sourdough starter. So I decided to name him Breadpool. But y'all, look at the size. This is one egg. I'm going to take this off the tripod. Hold on one second. This is crazy. Can I turn this around? I'm sure can. Look at this thing. That is one egg. Crazy. I told the guy, I was like, hey, you guys should get ostriches. Because I would definitely buy an egg from an ostrich. So, yeah, that was me just geeking out for the morning. I had to go to a doctor's appointment just to check up, and I was nerding out. But yeah, this is one egg. Fucking wild. One goose egg. And this is basically, you got to put some effort even to scramble this thing. It's like scrambling glue. Crazy. Yeah, that's got to be about four or five eggs. It's definitely more than the three eggs I eat on a daily basis. Look at that. This is going to be great. Well, since I got y'all here, I might as well give you a tour of my kitchen. 
now that it's somewhat clean. So yeah, my sourdough starter. I'll be making bread this weekend, so I figure I gotta take it out now. Honey from my buddy who lives in Maryland. He's a beekeeper, Marine officer, infantry guy, and now a beekeeper. Crazy. We used to stack bodies and now we stack honey jars. But yeah, chicken eggs, goose. Well, oh yeah, I bought this, so I thought these were pretty cool. The amount of money I spent to get all these little figurines at Dollar General inside these little candy boxes. Like if y'all remember the Wonder Ball, they used to have like a chocolate ball inside the chocolate ball was candy or a toy or whatever. Yeah, I was on a mission. I got so many doubles. I probably spent over a hundred dollars. I'm not happy about it, but yeah, we actually got duplicates over here. So they're just all over the damn place. But yeah, so I do these pickled onions myself. Bought these little brackets for the mason jars because I don't have a very large kitchen, so I need to make space. Best way to hang it. It's out of the way. Homemade applesauce. Yeah, I went to the farmer's market again. This is why you should go to a farmer's market. You're not going to find this sweet potato in a grocery store. No way. Stop buying the regular commercial shit. Everything is the same. Everything looks the same. You know, all the tomatoes are perfectly round. And No, I've grown tomatoes. I've grown peppers. I've grown things that look nothing like they do at the grocery store. Like potato. They all look different, different sizes. You know, they're not going to look the same. Everything is so, I guess, systematically made identical that it's so fake. But, all right, well, I'm going to cook this because I got to eat and I got legs today. So that's going to be fun. Not really. But yeah, I just messaged my coach and I was like, hey, uh, reloading is stupid. So I'm just going to crack one egg and see what I get. All right, my rant is over. Everybody have a good day.